Okay, Monday morning in the kingdom, and guess what? It's another rain day. Yes, I've been up since 5 o'clock because we had a thunderstorm again. I don't know who thought that theory up of hot and humid weather equals thunderstorms, but up here in the great white north or wilderness Alaska, but in northern Manitoba, we're getting thunderstorms where it should be snowing. It's chilly out here. It's just, uh, how'd you say, it came down to a light drizzle rain, so I was able to stand out here. I had to wait. So this morning we woke up to plus seven, but feels like plus six. Lies! It's more like zero. Freaking cold. It should be freezing and snowing too. And then on the yo-yo scale, plus 44, but feels like plus 43. Oh man, it's chilly. I'm going to get wet here. I'll be like sugar and melt away. All right. Amazon has my 10th book of my winter road series on for being free as an ebook where is the money that was last year we did anything for winter roads because the bastards never paid me yes i never got paid so why even bother so now when they break down call the service truck 300 kilometers away because i'm not helping you so the book is free from september 30th to october 4th yes five days on amazon four days on sesame street yes I had good fun on the winter roads. I had my 15 seconds of fame on ice road truckers. Now I don't care about them. Yes, because I never got paid. Oh, it's nasty out here. I was able to get the rain stopped long enough that I could actually get a video. I think I'm gonna get wet. The yard lights are on, it's cold, it's miserable. And yet it's 8.30, the normal time we stand out here holding a stick. But on a positive note, no dick today. He can't fly in this weather because he didn't have a windshield wiper. Yes, he won't be flying today. Oh, well, which is good. Oh, the wood stove smoke. <laughs> oh, man. Unreal. But I almost got a full tote of water overnight. I don't know where it is. It's over here somewhere. It's over there. Yeah, somewhere there. So that is good. So I'll be able to fill up the water tank in the house and have a big, how'd you say, a deep bath and with my rubber ducky. Yes, oh, the joy. So I don't have to haul out water from Whoville. You know, Whoville, they ha fish have sex in that water. Unreal. Well, I better go. I can't see anything. Plus, the boss is coming, even on a rain day. Monday morning in Whoville, it's just after 9 a.m. And as you can see, it is pretty nasty out here. It's been raining on and off all night and it's pretty windy. It's actually supposed to be like this all day. So I'm not sure what we're doing in the kingdom. This is the temperature right now. It's seven degrees Celsius, which is 44 degrees Fahrenheit. We even had the fields like on the bottom. The dogs did not want to go outside. So let's head inside and make breakfast. Okay, after morning coffee or where we got the emails and comments and everything addressed and everything up to date. So now I can come outside and play. We don't have the wood stove going or the electric baseboard heat on in the hose shack. So there's the time. And there's the temperature in there. Just 10 degrees, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. All right. So there's the hose shack part. All right. Let's see if we can back up. All right. So this is the extension we put on. It's not fully finished. But the staff and I put tin on the roof, okay? So we're working out good. These are the joints that need spray foam. Hopefully Sir Rodney's getting that for us. But as you can see, the tin job we did is working. There's no water being forced in in the wind. Oh, look at the chimney doesn't even leak. All right, so that wind we got here and the way that uh, rain is being blown in, I'm very pleased with how to say, no money, tin the roof and get it done. So that's what I say. Get on your projects, get it done. Doesn't matter if you have no money, time is what you have. Get it done, that's what I say. Not like my dad and his dad and his father before him where they made lists and notes but never achieved anything. Okay, it's nasty out here. Look at all the water. The water is everywhere and it actually works out good. Our water slides are working great. We have no water in this shop here. Yes, pretty soon if the ground gets saturated around the shop and the old part here, it starts leaking in, but that's normal. But we have no leaks up here. That's the old part of the shop. That's the new part. So we did well. We got it done. And also, too, we have a fire going in the wood stove. We used the wood in the wagon to get it going. And we drag a pallet in because it's quicker and faster to grab a pallet to drag it in than to stand outside filling that uh, wood wagon. Okay. So also today we'll be in the shop here. We have to do the loose ends, figure things out. And of course, 
clean off the workbench and get ready for when the weather changes and we can be outside because we're pushing the limits or the window of opportunity we probably have only two more weeks left of good weather we have a lot of things to do so let's get this workbench cleaned off and get things done okay it's still nasty outside so we're gonna hide in the shop okay so i've kind of prioritized the projects here because if the motor goes back into the grader the ud16 we need a block heater because there's they're getting cold out so we're not not sure what we're gonna do all right so back in the day we used to get these aluminum ones all right they were good has these elements all right you no matter how much you antifreeze you have in the system or how big the machine was this thing will push the heat up hot air hot water rises go up to the cylinder block and everything works good 1500 watts they're good excellent you know greatest thing on earth and then i think about 2020 and the great lockdowns yes the great lockdowns oh yes i wrote lots of books everybody else was boohooing i was writing books and bettering myself all right so then they changed it over to this so if you order that this comes up in the computer all right this is one of these uh swedish kid ones okay energy efficient there's sensors in here okay at the top so it says it's too hot okay so now we're not gonna how would you say save energy so it turns it off this one here the sensors are in the bottom you got to get the water warm or the antifreeze warm and push it up so it's going up this thing here Oh, it couldn't even heat uh, warm up a cup of tea. That's how bad they are. The only place I found that they can use them is on the gas motor cats. Yes, the gas motor cats, because I don't know why, but they only work there, not on the diesel ones or anything. So just unreal. So we marked on them, not the good ones. So off to the side they go. We don't even unpackage them because that's how bad they are. Okay. So now we're going to take, we have two of these replacement elements, but we don't have the aluminum body okay so the only thing we have the pipe that's really thin will be exhaust pipe well we can't weld with that or anything like that so let's use this drill steel yes so there's the threads at that end yes and we're gonna make some plates and get this thing figured out and we're gonna have nippled ribbed nipples for the hoses to stay on because these like these ones are smooth a little bump at the end it's a lot easier and faster for us to do it this way than try to make something work. That way we know a 5 8 heater hose will go on. We went and found some fittings that are the steel ones we can cut off to the brass to fit in. I think this will work out good. It'll keep us amused this afternoon. Whereas everybody else is enjoying the weather inside the house playing the Xbox. We'll be outside enjoying or in the shop enjoying the wood stove okay me again i forgot to tell you about this company here i think they were based in winnipeg at one time they were a good name and of course with the mo uh, the things they keep changing their names shortening and everything like that they've been around since christ was a cowboy but you can see the quality of workmanship look at that can we see the space there the little gap and the shiny stuff on the inside so this is outside in the elements yes the rain the snow the debris so how the hell does that keep the sensors and everything in so it looks like we have to do quality control here in the kingdom yes we'll be getting the gasket goo out and making it orange that's our trademark okay to my surprise this one was assembled by somebody who was sober at work all right look at that that's the way it's supposed to be nice and sealed good and they got the gasket goo on the top there to seal the screw so it doesn't how would you say vibrate out all right so we have one good quality product this was probably made in 2016 and that was made in 20 after 2020 yes the great lockdowns that is unreal no quality control anymore i sure am glad daisy may's escort services kept the quality control up to par okay lunchtime in the kingdom and this is the goodies wall yes the goodies wall i'm under the canopy yes i'm under the canopy so a fellow found this block eater south of whoville at a camp or whatever where they were doing exploration back in the day so that explains how it works the cold water comes in here the element warms it and out the top it goes so we're going to try and relive that oh yes we can't forget the name badge off the radiator for the adams grader all right let's do a quick scroll this way a little shaky it's freaking cold out here and we're getting lots of water which i like because i get to have a bath tonight 
Okay, when I went to the house, I noticed the tote is getting full and I don't want to waste any rainwater. So see the black hose? Because I, what I did was I pumped water from the shop up to the house and then I stopped the hose. Let's go in the, house, in the shop. Okay, so what I did was pump water from the tank here using that pump and then we, to the house and then I usually have to drain the hose because the house is higher than the shop. So what I did this time was take the hose from the house, put it into the tote and then start the pump. So that way I created water continuously in the black hose, stopped the pump, undid the hose off the pump and stuck it in the tank. Can you hear that last Nessman? That's the sound of gravity. So I didn't have to go to the uh, hose shack, grab the submersible pump and drag it up and put it in the tote to pump water into the tank here or into the house. Pretty smart thinking. Now I'll go and enjoy a beverage because I, I, oh, now I'll go enjoy a beverage with my lunch because I was smart and I'm thinking smarter, not working harder. 12 p.m. and I'm just getting ready to warm up my leftover ham dinner from last night. This is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's 6 degrees Celsius, which is 42 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It is pretty chilly out there, and as you can see, it's raining and windy still, so we're not doing anything in the kingdom. Now let's head inside and make lunch. 2 p.m. and I just switched laundry. It's so nasty out here. I have to stand in the doorway to do all my videos today because if I was to stand outside with all this wind, you wouldn't be able to hear me very well. I'm sure there will be some wind noise in these videos anyways, and I apologize for that. But look at that wind. The dogs still don't want to go outside, so let's head in and wait until about 4 p.m. Hopefully the weather changes so I can head over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to. Okay, 2 o'clock in the kingdom and it's getting nasty out there. It's getting windy. Yeah, it's just uh, really nasty, like the ex-wife. All right, so we might have to evacuate the shop. The ground around the shop is officially saturated, so it's getting wet in here. We might have to move to high ground, but oh well. All right, so two hours later after I started... We're still gravity feeding into the tank here. So can you hear that last Nessman? All right, so that works out good. So somebody had this great idea to tape the hose so, so it didn't move. So I laid it on the workbench to make it higher or whatever. So it's kind of affecting my abilities, yes. So the problem we have here is how do I cut round holes? Because this will be the base, all right? This will be the base for the heater, okay? So how do I cut a round hole sober? All right, so I had this harebrained idea. Drill down with the hole saw, because I know that my piece of shit uh, drill press won't be able to go right through. So cut it down so we have a groove. Yes, a groove. And then we can follow the groove. All right, so that's what we did. I don't know if you can see it right there. All right. So the problem we had here, that's the center mark. The bit went back inside. And guess what? We were over here. And it was all over the place. Yes, just like the ex-wife. All right. So we have to move over one. But the thing is, is this is the preliminaries. Okay, so we can't get the hole right. Like we didn't cut out a bunch of plates, uh, drill the holes, and then figure out that we screwed up. We start off by screwing up the big one first, and then we know how to correct. So that's why that one's over there. So I'm not sure if you can see it here. There's little titty bumps right in here. Okay, right there. That keeps the heater centered, okay? Because there's that O-ring gasket that goes in the groove right there. So the trick was to take the die grinder. And you can see my uh, hole saw marks right here. Die grind it so the titties are tight. Yes. There's no way I'm going to make this thing spin perfectly around. I've marked it underneath for each one. Yellow's on this side. Red is over there. So when I go to assemble it or make it work, I have to make sure. So this is where the... Heating element fits the tightest, all right? So that's what we want because we have to have that O-ring gasket to seal. So very pleased with that. The titties are in there tight. Now we can start figuring out the holes to drill here and tap them. And then we can do the official cutout, which will be the base of the heater, which will again get welded onto there, in theory. Okay, coffee time in the kingdom and I got my little elements bolted down. Also two of these are tricky because there's three titties on one side, two titties on the other. So it only fits one way. So that's why the paint marker is marking where it goes. All right, to get this done, we used the fine threaded tap. Yes, and that's one of those starting tabs. It goes a ways before it actually 
I would say gets going so it's easier to go also too we went for the fine thread because this material is only a quarter inch thick all right and the way we did it here was pretty easy we got it fitting in the hole we marked it I'll change my hands here Les Nesman that's the quarter inch bit but a little bigger and we just stick it in there to the brass and that's how we marked the holes and then we drilled through with the small little bit and then the topping bit which was 732s to drill a quarter or to 732s was the pot the, uh, the top drill hole for the quarter inch fine thread bolts to fit all right so this will work out good and we're very pleased this is the only way it's going to work so after coffee well, after i've had my beverage i'll be able to cut this out to make the plates to get welded onto there Yes, we might splurge and put a new tip in the plasma cutter. That way I don't have to grind and grind forever. 4.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's 7 degrees Celsius, which is 44 degrees Fahrenheit. We even had the feels like on the bottom. As you can see, it stopped raining for the moment, but the clouds are moving pretty fast. So I think more rain is coming. So let's head inside, let the dogs out to use the bathroom and end my day. Okay, 4.30 in the kingdom and I consulted with Jack Daniels at coffee time. Yes, so how are we going to, how would you say weld? Oh. I'm totally unprepared here. Hand and eye coordination last Nesman. All right. We'll have to blame Jack. All right. So we were going to put this in the bottom here. How do we weld it? So if we weld it on the pipe, then how do we weld under here? So these are the actual fittings you get with the kit. And back in the day when you ordered these kits, all right, came with this. This went into the block of the motor so the uh, antifreeze could flow out. It seems to be about the same diameter of that it doesn't look like much but all you're getting is a trickle through because you're getting it to rise yes rise up so i decided we'll drill it out top it out to a quarter inch uh, pipe thread screws in nice just have to make sure it doesn't screw in too far and hit the uh, heating element or ground it out yes as they say so we did one pass weld on it you can see we have a little pocket there but now we can cut it out i have the bolts threaded through here because i can grind them or get them flushed off or whatever so i think this will work now we can cut it out and start working on the top the top has to be tapered up a slight bit and then we'll put one of these fittings in so the antifreeze flows upward okay just about seven o'clock and the rain stopped about six i think it was all right so we kind of had a problem here we're trying to make little curvatures or uppy parts but it didn't work out all right so over here we threw some steel in the wood stove but the wood stove was dying out for the end of the day so it kind of didn't get hot enough and then i was beating on it right there so you put the hammer put the plate over here in this hole in the table which is so handy except for when you drop things down so then take the hammers and beat it down but the only problem is it wasn't hot enough yes yeah, so i got some lame ass bumps here or curvatures but i think that'll be enough okay so this is what we got there's enough curve for the warm water as it rises it's kind of same as this here like that's not much of a curve sort of thing but i'm hoping it works we have no other choice all right so then we took a fitting welded it on the ends so i'm just double chasing checking or chasing it out okay because you gotta you don't know if there's slag debris or anything from welding and grinding and plasma cutting so we got this to fit these fit nice and then we when we ground in here ooh, ooh. okay with to get the bolts out there's ground right here and then i tapped them out again okay so they're topped out so we're quite confident this will go together we're going to splash some paint around in here because we can't clean it perfectly we've got uh, wire wheels we've tried everything including these items over here so we're going to splash some paint in there probably take a couple of days to dry but we're very pleased very pleased yes this is actually going rather well and we wasted a day out of the rain and the wind that was nasty the last couple of days it reminded me of my honeymoon with the ex-wife or the wife oh yes the bride she put no effort into the wet honeymoon oh well okay there we go we cleaned our we cleaned off the bench so we're ready to paint yes yeah, splash the paint so there we go we got these things put in the right directions everything's pointing the right the right way everything we still have to dress up this one here that's loose yes loose all right so we're very pleased we got the paint here 
So we're going to splash the paint. Yes, we always keep the brush inside the paint. That way it's ready to go. Yes, fresh and ready to go. All right, let's splash the paint and then we can get uh, get this day done. Okay, we're done for the day. It's close to 7.30. We're going to have to walk the dogs quickly because it's chilly out here. I was in the shop where it was nice and warm. And then we come out here. The sun's trying to shine. Look at that. But it's still windy. We had a successful day. We built two block heaters. Yes, two block heaters. And we to think we could have just sat in the house and played the Xbox and drank beer. But instead, we built two block heaters. So then the grater will start when it's cold. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you later.